Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of The Seven Deadly Sins, Episode 2. Wow. Great episode once again. Oh my god. Great. So, am I the only one who got the, them feels from this episode when with that one kid, I believe his name was a Mead or Mead or something like that? Miad, whatever his name, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever his name was, when he was, like, convincing the townspeople to basically agree with him and try to help him pull the sword out of the ground. I'm the only one here who got the feels from that entire scene, just the way it was orchestrated, and, and the way it was, uh, pl and the way it played out. Well, not, granted, they failed, but still. And then, after they failed, Meliodas came walking down grabbed it with one hand and just yanked it right up out of the fucking ground. Okay, this is supposed to be a sword that only a holy knight can wield. And he wielded it with just one fucking hand like that. That was pretty fucking badass, okay. Now don't worry, he does have more defining character traits than that later on in the series than just being badass, which is good. But still, that was really... That, that, those were definitely my two favorite scenes in the episode. Of course, we did have a little bit more fan service. The series does have a lot of, quite a bit of fan service. Not nearly as much as a fairy tale. Dear God. But it does have a, some, a good amount of fan service, okay? And we did get a little bit more with, you know, El Elizabeth, obviously. Uh, Alright, and we got a little bit of hinting towards Elizabeth's uh, to who Elizabeth really is, but I'm not, but for, I'm not going to spoil that, though, for all, uh, non-manga readers, for all, for all anime-only watchers, I'm not going to exactly spoil that. If you want to watch the episode again and find out what it is, you can go right ahead, but I'm not going to spoil that for you, alright, you have to figure it out for yourself, but, or just wait, maybe, okay, but either way, though, great episode, I especially love how the boar hat bar can literally is attached to a pig which the pig is a giant green pig which is a giant green pigs underground all the time okay and the bar just rises it up and flies through the air in plain fucking sight and then it just lands in random fucking villages and the pig goes back underground again and nobody questions the fact that it came from the fucking sky I fucking love it <laughs> oh my god I fucking love it okay Seriously, the only thing I, real thing I complain, com, can complain about in this episode is the animation isn't outstanding, okay? There's definitely some still frames here and there, but then again, the animation isn't horrible either, so it's not something that I can bitch about, it's just something I thought I'd mention, though. Okay, so, overall, if you have yet to see the Seven Deadly Sins episode 2, I definitely recommend that you do, okay? Uh, also, at the beginning of this episode, I guess I should mention this too, we do get a little bit more insight on Elizabeth's uh, past, meaning when she was a little girl and whatnot. Okay, now, if... Uh, okay, fine, I'm going to spoil it for you, because if, for all you anime-only watchers, if that scene, if, so I completely forgot about the scene before, if that scene does not tell you what, who Elizabeth really is, then you're stupid, okay? Elizabeth is the princess of the kingdom third princess, I believe. Yeah. Now, I don't remember if it was revealed that early in the manga or not. Um, I do know that it was a little while before it was actually stated in present time, but I don't know if it was actually stated that early in the manga or not, but still, or revealed to the audience that early in the manga or not, but still. So yeah, that's, so that should tell you a little bit more about Elizabeth. And also we got some Gil Thunder in this episode, which Gil Thunder may seem like a douchebag right now, and he really is. But wait till later, from what I recall, he gets, he becomes a lot better of a character later on, so. Anyway, like I said before, if you have yet to see this episode of The Seven Deadly Sins, episode 2, I definitely recommend you check it out right now, because it was a really fucking good episode, okay? So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye